What is up guys? Andrew McGinnis back here with another free play video. Today, it's going to be in the CFL, the plays, of course, for a couple days down the road on the weekend. But it's rivalry weekend in the CFL. Love this weekend every single season. Some great matchups going on in the CFL. We're going to give a free pick on the Red Blacks and the Alouettes for this weekend's action. Before I do that, I do have a 5% play. I invite you guys to check out over at wagertalk.com, wt.buzz slash am. 21 and 11 run with 5% plays for a 39% bankroll increase. But guys, last six days, I'm up 50% ROI for a 74% win clip. Feeling good heading into this weekend. And best of all, that play is $9 all week long, all the way up until Monday with the Elks taking on the Stampeders. Looking forward to that matchup, guys. Grab the best bet for just $9. But our free play today, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the free play for this weekend. The Red Blacks, the Alouettes. Look, these are two teams that are going to be in different sides uh, and spots of the division standings. You know, the Alouettes are going to be a good team. They're going to progress as the season move forward. The Red Blacks, I'm still not buying into them. They had a week one upset win, which I think is really kind of uh, making people think they're better than they are. This is not a good team. Last week, we saw them uh, lose to the BC Lions. I had the BC Lions minus four and a half. I don't think anybody should be four and a half favorites against the Ottawa Red Blacks. They're just not good enough. And this is a Red Blacks team that's not just struggling defensively, also offensively as well. Matt Nichols at quarterback doesn't really seem to be the guy the Red Blacks thought he might be so far. The team is young and inexperienced, and right now we're getting the Alouettes minus six and a half against them for an average number. And I'll take the Alouettes, guys, because the Alouettes, you know, they haven't lost, they haven't won a game in their last two, but they've shown some signs of life in those low key hidden stats. I've liked what the Alouettes have done. Number one, they sacked Dane Evans six times last week. Number two, only allowed 103 passing yards from Dane Evans. Their pressure has been strong. Their secondary has been actually better than I thought it would be. It's just some special teams and some turnovers and some costly plays that's really hurting this team down the stretch. And they won't make those errors against the Ottawa Red Blacks. Give me the Alouettes minus six and a half. Grab that 5% play over at Wager Talk for just $9. Take care, guys. See you next time.